Hey guys, welcome to my sec second review of the DP series. Judge what you see on my computer screen is going to be the Princess and the Frog. For those who don't know, and I recommend a more value description, look up High Me Too's pages to pictures. We know that for the Frog Princess, it all started of a snobby princess lost her golden ball and the frog helped her get it back. In return, she he can spend time in her house, eat her food, spend time in, in her bed. She refused or tricked the frog, depending what she read. And when he showed up at the doorstep, the king forced her to keep her promise. Now the ending kind of varies depending on what you read. But in the Grimm's book, she threw the frog, throws the frog against the wall, thought she killed it, and cries bitterly. It was until the frog turned back to human that everything went all right. For the frog princess, it went through many different adaptations from story, to Muppets, to a movie across the pond, to his counterpart, the frog princess, which I recommend you read, it's a pretty good story. An episode of Fairy Tale Theaters, a movie adaptation from the 1950s, including the Disney's Princess and the Frog, which is equally very good. Well, enough chit chat, let's play the game! So it is just a bit. Okay. Now just like for Sleeping Beauty, I have to play a game again. But unlike it, playing Harvard over and over, you have to re-sign your name over and over. So I recommend playing the easy mode, then hard mode, then do the bonus. Believe me, it all comes together real easily that way. So let's get started. I don't think so. And just like Sleeping Beauty, we get a golden crown, which unlocks not only one, but two secret rooms. So this is going to be very interesting. First item is a stone emblem. I just like before I get stuck.
Oh good, you're not like this scary godmother. <laughs> Uh, we got this first item, which is a decorative jar collection. Me, I think we we'll get five to unlock a puzzle later on. There's a book and two frogs. Red tree. They just there. It's not really clickable, really. And we got this frog statue. Oddly enough, it kind of looks like the one down the well, but more me, maybe. Now we gotta clean it all before I put something in there. There's the city. Oh, in the easy version, there are more of cursed objects. One of them involves this, and in fact, there's a guide right here. Where I will set a picture. You got a list of them. First puzzle. That's why it is going to happen a lot. I always misclick stuff. So let's go back to the gates. And keep in mind the frogs always come back after you click them. Here's the beginning of chapter one. Oh, and here where all the jars will be behind there. I won't sweat it, but it doesn't involve a room. Not a secret room, just a room. Oh man, it's like the Phantom of the Opera. That's awesome. Hey, yeah, we got a spider, but lucky it's not big. And screech free, thank goodness. There's the counselor's chancellor's shoe. You're gonna need that to clean the stones. And we got another frog. <laughs> That's basically what it is. A fragment hidden object is frog. Don't believe me, look it up on Wiki. where this leads to. Find out soon, I guess. Yeah, another frog. And we gotta get that item from the water. There we go. Who's leaving all these broken items behind? I never really figured that out. I mean, the first one I can guess was Sleep to Beauty, since she's technically a out of body spirit in a way. I wonder what up for this one. Now let's go back to that stone statue. Oh, before I click the key, do you think those things in the mouth are fangs? I might have misheard this, but I I heard some frogs have them. I don't think so, but I think they look like fangs to me.
Fog instantly thickened as I grabbed the cottage key. And judging from the fogs, I'm screwed. Keep in mind, these frogs have changed. Earlier really, they were small and not like the horn built wolf frogs. Well, let's see if we can get inside. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, great. Now where are we? We fell into a cave. With a lot of greenery, they didn't really kill us. Mysterious palace filled with immense wealth, rumored to be buried under black forest. And this is from the 1920s. Oh, running gag before I continue. <laughs> Remember this picture? He's in almost every single game BTG ever made. And it's really funny. <laughs> he's a thief. He's either, of course, either skeleton, stone, again a skeleton, and I think uh, petrified by a spider, but that's spoilers. Let's do this puzzle. But yeah, that's the running gag. If you see the thief, you know he's there. And now let's continue for this one. I have to admit these uh, little hidden object places are more little centered now. Not really spread out like some of the rooms. Like the armory room is not like that, which is actually pretty cool. And not as messy, so it's not really that obvious. Let's see. Where does this lead to? There. Apparently, this frog prince is also an earthbender. Cool. Well, that's chap the end of chapter one. Stay tuned for chapter two. See you guys.